In today's video, I'll be giving a makeover to some Dollar Tree doll houses. And we're going to bring them into Valentine decor this time. Welcome to my channel. My name is Leah, and here you'll see things like Pinterest projects, thrift flips, trash to treasure crafting, Dollar Tree DIYs, and shopping hauls. If that interests you, please subscribe. Now I'm going to be reusing some of my doll houses that I've used in the past. I'm just going to kind of recycle them. I may even use some of that packaging that I've painted. We shall see. For DIY number one, I'm going to call this one Sweets for My Sweet. As the name would suggest, I'll be using some donuts and sprinkles paper. I thought I would use some of those um, faux candies that I bought from Amazon as well, but it turned out that um, I had plenty of pattern going on with just the paper. So I'm going to punch out those windows and door on the front of the house part, and I'll get me a measurement to see where to cut that with my straight edge cutter so I don't mess it up. And the papers I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I went in when they had the paper studio on sale, so the papers were only like 30 cents each. I'll gladly give 30 cents rather than trying to paint these houses to look like they have sprinkles on. So, yeah, here I'm moving everything out of the way. And starting with the body of the house, I guess you'd call it, I'm going to use some Mod Podge. Yep, I forgot to pop that window out. I'll use some Mod Podge on the paper and the house because I kind of squished out a little too much. So I made it work by distributing it evenly over the paper and putting a coat on the front of the house too. Once I got the paper to where it wasn't overly saturated, I made sure I had all the edges and corners very well. And then I just laid it down on the house. I used my fingers to try to kind of score, get it into the crevices, the little um, places where the house like has step downs around it. And then I popped the windows back in after it dried. I cut out with my, wait a minute. I lost where I cut out the windows and the door. Well, shoot. Anyway, I decided not to put the door frame back around. I just stuck the door in because I want these to have um, a little bit of their own personality instead of having the houses look exactly the same. Now, taking the bright magenta apple barrel paint and a small brush, I'm going to go over the door and the windows with that. Originally, I thought I might also dry brush and bring out that detail more, but I think I've got enough detail going on with that busy pattern of paper. Now, for the roof, I put Mod Podge all over the top of that roof. Uh, kind of a heavy coat because I'm going to be putting some strips of paper on this. I'm not going to try to measure it out first. I'm, yeah, I'm cutting up some strips of this donut paper. Well, it's donuts and cookies. Unless the, what I'm calling cookies are actually filled donuts, maybe. Okay, we'll call them that. I love me some donuts. So I'm just uh, attaching little pieces, like so. And I'm just going to overlap a little bit to make the donuts look a bit like shutters. You'll see in just a moment what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know, lay that down, cut it, and then bring another piece, just overlap slightly like that. And it looks like it has donut, a donut shingled roof. I only had two little pieces of that left over that I had cut, so I cut one of those out to put kind of 
front and center. And I probably should have put the other one that was left over on the front of that dormer, the large dormer. But you'll see in just a minute what I did with that. I used that same bright magenta apple barrel paint. I painted the windows, the dormer, and the sides and top of the roof. Like so. Now for the last thing I'm going to do is use some puffy paint. And this is only the second time I've used puffy paint. I am not a pro at this by any means. It's quite a learning curve of how much pressure to put on the bottle. And yeah, I made a little bit of a mess, but it's okay. See, I just put details here and there. Now, I left the frame of that door off. I wanted to make a different kind of door, so what I did was made it look like frosting. Some ziggy zaggies and loops to look like frosting around the door. I put a little bit of the puff paint on the windows as well here. And went back up to the top windows. Put a little bit on there. And we're going to call that done. Sweets for my sweet. I've teamed up with some of my bestest YouTube friends. And we've done these doll houses in the past. We did Halloween houses. We did Christmas houses. Today we're doing Valentine makeovers. So be sure you go see what each of these creators have done. The playlist link is below. DIY number two I'm calling Roses Are Red. I started with some red pieces of a house and I want to cover up the white on there so I'm going to use a little bit of the um, ballet slipper Waverly chalk paint to cover up the white areas. And it doesn't look like much of a difference when you're putting it on, but once it dries, you can see the difference. And my crafting's always trial and error. I really didn't have a clear plan of what I was going to do when I started this. So you'll see it unfold as it unfolded in my head. So the ballet slipper paint has dried. And now I'm going to come in with some flag red acrylic and kind of dry brush over the top of that because it's too shockingly different from the red. And yeah, I got too much here and there and I decided just to go for it. Just go all over. Windows, everything I just painted with that light pink color, I'm going to paint over. Also going to paint over the shiny silver. Silver? The shiny red color that was spray painted on. Um, like I said, with the other, the colors were unmatched. The bright and dull paints together didn't kind of, didn't work for me. So anyway, here I am going over what I've already painted. Painting again. I'm going to make it come together. I just wasn't feeling this one. It just wasn't working for me for some reason. Now here, I'm making little shutters to put on the sides of the windows. I'm just cutting some um, popsicle sticks to the size of the windows. And I'll be hot gluing those on and then painting. Because I'm not good at holding something tiny to paint. I need it on the surface already so I can hold to something beside it and paint. Well, somehow I missed on showing you how I used puff paint here and there. Um, you can see the windows and the door a little bit. I wanted to look barn windows, but it just, it looks weird. Now I'm putting on the little tiny roses. These are from Dollar Tree last year. And I want it to look like the vine is running down the house, top down or bottom up. I don't know, either way. But some of them I'm leaving a bit of greenery on, and some I'm just gluing the head of the roses down. 
just till I get it um, looking like a trailing vine. And here's how it looks all finished. I put some greenery at the front bottom also. Yep, this is Roses Are Red. DIY number three, I'm calling Love You to Pieces. And I'll be using puzzle pieces and scrabble pieces, both of which I picked up for 25 cents each. The colors that I'm going to be using are Conch Shell by Folk Art, Light Pink from Apple Barrel, um, Magenta, no, Lilac Mist. The pink one is Fuchsia. Yeah, that's right, Fuchsia. So I'm going to open up this puzzle pack and what I'm going to do is paint um, four pieces of each color, each of the four colors. And I'm not going to try to go over the whole entire house. I just want pieces here and there scattered around the house. So I'm going to lay them out, paint the back side, and I'm going to start with the conch shell. And you'll see what a super light color this is once it's painted on. I tried using a skewer to hold down the puzzle pieces so um, it would be easier. It's just not easy for me to do anything tedious. But I made it work out. I actually got a little bit easier once I got to that last color. And I just swished out my brush to get the excess out before moving on to the next color instead of washing my brush over and over. So yeah, there I am finishing up with the purple, which is called Lilac Mist. And then I'm going to get ready to glue them onto the house. While that's drying, I'll prepare the house. And what it is, is actually three of the packagings stacked together with the pink on the front. I'm going to stack them up, cut them out, and then I'm going to need to sturdy them up a little bit. Not that the puzzle pieces have much weight, but I just want to make it sturdier. Prickly Pear is the color that I've got on the house, and I found an extra roof piece. So I hot glued it inside, like so, and then sturdied the bottom up by gluing some of the tumbling tower pieces on a piece of a paint stir. And I'm just reusing some puzzle pieces. Puzzle pieces. I'm reusing some of these Jenga pieces. Good Lord, my brain's not working today. Anyway, I'm just dotting some hot glue around and sticking those pieces on, trying to separate the colors somewhat, mix it up. Hot glue, puzzle piece, just like so. The last thing I do is glue those pieces of the Scrabble game across the top and I'm gonna put them kind of janky. This is one time where I want it to be janky. And just wrote out love across the top. Oh, and I'm gonna use puffy paint again. This did not end well. I put on a little bit of detail here and there, and then I moved it before it was dry. So yeah, it was a horrible mess. Anyway, I'm gonna learn. Uh, it's gonna take me a little while, but I will learn the ins and outs of this puffy paint yet. And here it is finished up. That's Love You to Pieces. The fourth and final one I'm calling Key to My Heart. I'm going back to the paper because it's much easier for me. And I'm going to use the straight edge again. And I'm cutting it on the back side this time, which is a lot easier because I can tell what I'm doing, not competing with the crazy, yeah. Anyway, there's the heart pattern that I'm going to put on the house. After I pop those windows and that door out, like so. 
and I got a better amount of Mod Podge on it this time. I didn't have a whole lot of waste. Not that the other was wasted, it was just any more than I needed. And laid that over the house, smoothed that down, tucking those sides in. And once it was dry, I used my X-Acto blade and cut out the door opening and the window opening, pop those back in, and then I'm going to paint those with Pewter Gray by Apple Barrel, a plaid product, and I'm a plaid ambassador. For the roof, I'm going to use these glitter hearts, I think it's called Scatter from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to be using the smallest hearts. I'm going to put them in rows, pink, red, pink, red, and I want it to resemble some shingles on the roof. There, I'm just picking them out, laying them out, getting them ready. I had a little bit of cutting to do around the windows, but for the most part, it wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible. Now, I want to have a little bit of an overhang here. And I think it turned out super cute. I don't care what anybody says, it's super cute. I cut some of them in half to go around those window places. Windowed places? Yeah. Winders. And now it looks like that once it's done. And I like that the little points of the hearts are sticking up. Now, I said this is called Key to My Heart. I've got this tiny little heart-shaped lock with a couple of keys, and I'm going to put those on there. And I'm going to hot glue the lock to the top of the house, because if I put it on the front, I was afraid it was going to make it tip over, because these houses aren't super sturdy. I glued one of the keys and just let the other one dangle down. I'm still contemplating about that lock. And I went with the top of the roof like that. And now here it is all together. And here are those other ones. That's my four houses. Thank you so much for watching my video today. If you enjoyed it, let me know by leaving a thumbs up. It was kind of struggled for me, but I got through it. Please check out the playlist to see what these amazing creators come up with. And until next time, bye-bye.